Hello scholars, welcome, Mr. Hinkle here. Today we are going to go over the course introduction for Physical Geology, Geology 1 at Fresno City College. Now today's lecture, it's going to be very logistical and give you the nuts and bolts of how the course operates. So the information that we discuss here today is important to set the foundation for you in your success as you move through our course together so that you can be fully prepared in the learning process and know exactly how to make your way through. So today's lecture, we will talk about the Canvas syllabus, how to contact me, class meetings or lack thereof, office hours, what the textbook is, how the course is graded, coursework, late work, makeup work, some course standards, and then our roadmap to success. Let's go right in. So two important things to know. We've got Canvas as our learning management software. Obviously, you are a little bit familiar because you found this video embedded within Canvas. And everything in this course uses Canvas. So the lectures, they're in Canvas. The slides, they're in Canvas. The quizzes, they're in Canvas. The labs, they're in Canvas. The exams, so on and so forth. So everything in this course is in Canvas. Now you can use your desktop, your laptop, or you can even use your cell phone. But some of the assignments, the geotours that will require Google Earth, actually necessitate you having an actual PC or Mac. So you can't do everything on this course via your phone, but you can do a lot of things. For course policies, how are things going to go? Well, there's this lecture, but during the semester when you need to check something, it's in the syllabus. When do we meet? It's in the syllabus. When are office hours? It's in the syllabus. When in doubt, look in the syllabus. So these are important aspects for you. Canvas for all things coursework related. The syllabus is in Canvas, and it's got the detailed description of course policies. Now, I am your instructor, and I'm happy to be, and I love to interact with students. How do we contact each other? Well, the best way is Canvas messaging. So I have the Canvas app on my phone. I get notifications. They're like text messages. I respond when I can. Within a day, if it's during the week, on Mondays, if it's during the weekend, I'm uh, not uh, directly available during the weekends, but you can message me on Canvas and rest assured that I will respond to you. And if I don't, it's not because I don't want to, it's because I've missed it. So please, if you've reached out to me and I haven't responded in a day or two, please reach back out. Message me again. I also have an email. Uh, and a phone, so you can email me, you can call me, but again, the best method is via Canvas messaging. So for all things communication, let's use Canvas, all things, including messaging. Cool. Our course is 100% online and asynchronous, which means you do not need to come to campus and there are no scheduled meetings. What that also means is that you as the student need to be extremely autonomous and self-motivated, good with time management. These are hard skills to learn. And so I recommend developing a schedule and scheduling in your working times during your week. That way it's dedicated every week and you come back to it and you're not just trying to squeeze it in here or there, but you are actively making a commitment to say, I am going to put 10 to 15 hours into this course every single week and it will be three hours a day, five days a week to get that 15 hours of studying, reading, completing quizzes and assignments, taking exams, watching lecture videos. It's up to you. You've got to effectively schedule and manage your time wisely. And if you're interested in how to do that, send me a message and I can provide you with some links 
and resources. So please be punctual, complete your work on time. We do not meet in person. We are 100% asynchronous and online. Office hours for students. So I am on campus every day, and I have certain hours where my office work is dedicated to you. And so I call those office hours for students. Now, they vary from semester to semester. You can find the up-to-date office hours within the course syllabus or on the home page of the Canvas module. Canvas for all things. If you need to see me outside of my regular office hours, which occur both online and in person, please message me. We should put message up here. Message me, and we can set up an appointment either on Zoom, online, or in person. So these are office hours for students. <clears throat> the book. We don't need to go buy a big fancy textbook because there are great zero cost textbook resources online. This is the one, Open Geology, with a chapter on every topic that we will study. In addition, I'll provide links and resources and YouTube videos, my own from these lectures, but also a supplemental, that will help us to get a look at the content, right? The idea is you read the book, you watch the video, you study your notes, you complete the quiz. These are all contact points. You actively participate in the learning through multiple different styles to effectively understand the information. So our textbook is Open Educational Resource. It does not cost money. I will have links available for everything that you need to learn and understand. So that's pretty nice. Grading, the scale is very traditional. It's been around for the, since the dawn of time, I'm sure. 90 to 100 is an A, 80 to anything in the 80s is a B, anything in the 70s is a C, 60s is a D, less than 60 is an F. And you are graded based on five weighted groups. Laboratory, quiz, geotours, exam, and discussion, 30, 30, 10, 25, 5. Check my math, but that should be 100%. Pretty sure it is. And let's go through each of these right now. So lab sessions. There are online laboratory sessions. These are big assignments that you will work through, and they supplement the content from that week's module. So if we are studying igneous rocks, you will have an igneous rocks lab. If we are studying glaciers and deserts, you will have a glaciers and deserts lab. Each of these is going to be due with the rest of your materials. Now, you do get to drop the lowest laboratory score except for lab exams. There's no dropping lab exams. These should be fun and really help your learning as you go through the semester. Quizzes. Quizzes, you get two attempts. There's no time limit, one question at a time. After you do both attempts or you get 100% and you get to see your correct answers and we will drop the two lowest quiz scores. Now, all materials are available. You've got access to your notes, to my videos, to the internet, to the book, to take these and do really well. So you can take it twice and you can improve your score. There is a reward for putting in more effort and trying hard in multiple times. Geotours. Geotours are a set of guided learning activities through the software Google Earth. Now, we will go more in detail on how to get this set up on your computer, but for now, this is a group, it's worth 10%, I drop the two lowest, and these also supplement your learning. So when we're learning about rivers, there's a rivers geotours. When we're learning about the universe, there's a universe geotours, so on and so forth. We've got exams. There are multiple midterm exams, four of them, a cumulative final at the end. I will drop the lowest exam score, excluding 
the final, that one will not be dropped. It will be cumulative, comprehensive. These exams are open book, open note. You're at home, you've got your resources, but I do put time limits on these ones. So it is important that you study ahead and you actually know the information because if you're thinking about looking up every question, you just won't have the time to do that. You'll have the time to read the question, understand it, answer it, and move on. In addition, we've got weekly group discussions where you will interact with me and your peers and each other on various topics, kind of fun. What's your favorite rock? How do rivers flow? What's out there in the big universe? Things that you can participate in, they will be on topic, but not necessarily research questions, just something for us to get familiar and be in this online learning environment together. So those are our five group weights. You might be wondering, can I turn in work late? Well, yes, up to a certain point and for a penalty. So every week your work will be due on Sunday. For every day you turn in an assignment late, it will be minus 10 points off that assignment up to one week past the due date. Once that late window is closed, that assignment is closed and you will no longer have access to completing that assignment anymore. So you have a week to complete all of your work and then a week window buffer for late work. And then after that, moving on, you've missed that opportunity. For makeup work, this happens if you know that you are going to be out and you reach out ahead of time or you are sick currently and you reach out and you have a doctor's note, we can work things out. Now, I wanna be flexible and I wanna support you. What makeup work does not apply to is if you've missed a month and I haven't heard from you and then you come back and you say, can I please turn in the work that I missed? Well, that's not fair to the other students, so I'm sorry, but I, I can't allow that. It has to be an excused absence within a reasonable time frame that is communicated between you and I. So we've got late and makeup work. Whose policies are also, where are they? Huh? What? In the syllabus, you've Got it. Accommodations, I'm happy to accommodate you in whatever way you need. Now, if you have a DSPNS accommodation, then please make sure that that office sends it to me. And then also, you as an individual, please message me and request, hey, have you gotten my accommodation? Can you make sure that you provide me these ones? These are the really important ones to me and I can work with you. You will be on my radar. I will know and we can work together to accommodate and make sure that you have the supported learning environment that will help you thrive and be successful in this course. And I want everybody to thrive. So some class standards, especially in this learning environment online, are let's support each other, let's love each other, let's respect each other. And with that, we will say there is no room for hate, for homophobism, for racism, for any of the other isms that discriminate upon one another. Let's be open and honest and compatible and invite the beauty of the human spectrum into our online classroom where we're all working and interacting with one another. And this way we can all build and learn and grow from each other. I know you can do it. I'm happy to do it. And we can do this together. Really create an awesome space. I don't think anybody's going to cheat. It's open book, it's open note, it's pretty self-explanatory, but academic dishonesty, it's not tolerated. So please do all of your own work complete your own work. If I notice that something is being done and it doesn't look like it's yours, we will have a conversation. Hopefully this doesn't happen. If it does and it's repeated, it gets escalated. There's policies in the syllabus that we can go through, but please don't cheat. You don't need to, to be successful in my class. And there is a roadmap for you because you can be successful 100% absolutely 
success is in your future. Every student who completes their work passes my class. So what do you need to do to be successful? Read the book. Number one, read the book. Number two, watch the lectures. Record notes with your hands using paper and pencil. Really important. It does something in the brain that helps us learn. So you read it, you see it, you write it. What the heck? Read, look, write. These are ways to learn something, lots of different styles. After you've done that, complete every assignment. Please don't miss an assignment. If you do every single assignment, you will be successful. If you read, watch, write, you will be successful. Study for your exams ahead of time and do well. Ask for help if you need it. This might be the hardest one and simultaneously the easiest one. Best place to ask for help? Send me a message. We have a geology tutor. Our geology tutor will be happy to help anytime. Designated hours, those will be posted in the syllabus and on the homepage of our course module. You can do it. I believe in you. You can be successful. You can pass my class. I guarantee it. If you follow this roadmap to read the book, watch the lectures, write notes, do all of your work, study for your exams, and ask for help when you need it, we will get through this semester and you will be so proud of the work that you have done. So this lecture is an introduction to the logistics, to some of the nitty gritty details, the course design, the policy that you need to understand to set yourself up for success in addition to the roadmap, understanding the fundamentals, the foundation of how this course is designed. I hope that this little bit of information really sets you up, it supports you, you feel so much more confident to move through our course, and now you know what the resources are, where they are, how to access them, and how to get in touch with me, Mr. Hinkle, your instructor, so that we have a wonderful semester together. Thank you so much.